So you want to make a Minecraft server with plugins. Well, in order to do that, you're going to need a paper Minecraft server. And in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to create a paper Minecraft server. However, I do want to mention up front that this is going to be hosted on your own computer, which means you're also going to be hosting it on your own hardware, meaning you need a decent computer in order to run this Minecraft server. On top of that, it's going to be hosted on your own internet, meaning not only do you need a good internet connection, you also need to only give this to people you trust because anyone who gets the IP address of the server will be able to do things like DDoS you and figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates. On top of all of that, this isn't a 24-hour server. It's only going to be up and running when your computer is running and you're actively managing it. So with all that being said, what if you don't want those problems, right? What if you want every single one of those problems being solved? Your hardware is too bad? Guess what? Solution is here. You want to host a public server? You don't want to have to worry about who joins it? Problem solved. You want a server that's up all the time? Problem solved all with our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start a Minecraft server with Paper MC in under five minutes. We love and trust Apex so much that we actually host our own server, playdartbreakdowncraft.com on them, and they are the quickest and simplest way to start a server. Additionally, if you want to add plugins, you can do it very quickly using their online management panel. On top of all of this, they have 24 hours, seven day a week support. Starting a Minecraft server with Apex is very, very easy, and managing it is super easy as well. But should you have an issue, guess what? Their support is there to answer questions seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Just click the little chat icon at the bottom right and the real person will be there to help you out. So if you want to start your server in the easiest way possible, check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. But if you want to host your server locally on your own network, maybe you just want to test plugins on it. Maybe it is just for you and a couple of your friends that you trust. They come over to your house anyway, all that stuff. No worries. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is how to make a paper Minecraft server, and this is our text tutorial on doing it. We're going to go over everything in this guide in this video, but we do understand that some people are more visual. They like to actually read through stuff, and that's why we have these. Nevertheless, once we're here, let's go ahead and click on the yellow download paper MC button to open up the paper download page. Right away, we can see that paper 1.18.2 is selected so just make sure that's the case you can click on it if you want and then come over here and click on this first whatever the first row is click on this little download icon on the left hand side this is important that you download the most recent because it's going to have the most recent fixes and the most recent basically things and issues taken care of so let's go ahead and click on that one your number is going to be different, by the way. That's something people like to think about. No, it doesn't matter. Just click on this first version. It's the most recent and the best. So with that, click that blue download button, and it's going to download in the bottom left of Google Chrome. You may need to keep it or save it depending on your browser. So don't worry if you have to do that. It's 100% safe to download. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we need to right-click on our desktop and create a new folder. So when you close your browser, just create a new folder on your desktop. You can name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's that uh, amazing Minecraft server I mentioned earlier. If you just want to play some survival or skyball with your friends, check out Breakdowncraft 1.18. It's amazing. Come play with us. Nonetheless, we've got this new folder here, and now we need to get the paper file we just downloaded into this folder. To do that, it's going to be in our downloads folder. So click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11, and then go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. Open this up and in here you will find paper. You want to take this paper file and drag and drop that into the folder you created. In our case, playdartbreakdowncraft.com, but yours could be called Minecraft server or whatever you call it. It's fine. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and now open up this folder here and we have this paper file. The first thing we want to do is right click on this file we have and rename it to paper. Just paper straight up exactly like that. Now, yours may not have .jar at the end, that's okay, but if you want to fix that, you can click on view and make sure file name extensions is checked. As you can see, I uncheck it, the jar disappears, check it, and it appears, right? So you want to make sure this is just called paper here or paper.jar, depending on whether or not that box is checked. Nevertheless, with that there, we want to go ahead and right click and create a new text document. So right click new text document, and then we have this here. Go ahead and open up the new text document, and then in the description down below, there's this right here. These are different, basically codes, different files that run your Minecraft server. So for two gigabytes, you're going to use this one. For three, four gigabytes, you're going to use this one. And if you wanted to use more, you could just change right here. The amount of megabytes that your server has, 4,000 is four gigabytes, however, up to five, six, however much RAM you think your server needs. But nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and paste over here the two gigabyte option. And now we can go ahead and click file and save as. That's going to open up this menu here where you want to name this run.bat. Then don't click save yet. You want to make sure the save type is all files. So file name run.bat, save type as all files, click save. And now we have this new run.bat file that the type should be a Windows batch file. At this point, you want to go ahead and double click on this. Now you should go ahead and 
generate some stuff in here. As you can see, it's already generated a cache file, libraries, all that. This will fail, but for some of you, this won't work at all. You won't get what we're really looking for here, which is the eula.txt file. You won't get this. What do you do if you don't? Well, in that case, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for paper Minecraft servers, so go here, run Java 17, and you'll be good to go. Go through kind of everything here, and you'll be set, right? Once you've got that, you should be able to run that .bat file, and it will start your server. In some cases, you may need to run the jar fix. That's just going to link the jar files to Java. That could be required in some cases, but usually Java 17 will fix it for servers. Nonetheless, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and now we have this eula.txt file, and again, you may need to double-click the run bat file to get that. Nevertheless, we've got this eula.txt. Go ahead and double click on it to open it with Notepad. Then we want to go here, and as long as we agree to the Minecraft eula, we want to change eula equals false to eula equals true, T-R-U-E, exactly like that. Go ahead and click File, Save, and then now we can double click on the run.bat file. It's that simple to start a Minecraft server using paper. It's up and running. Your server is now going to start. As you can see on the left-hand side, it's preparing world. It is getting everything up and running, and boom, it is done. Your server is started. We can do slash, or we can do a version here to be able to see the version, and there it is, paper right there. Awesome stuff. How do you join this server? Well, let's go ahead and do it. So we're going to go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.18.2, and I will meet you on the main menu. So here we are in Minecraft. Now, the way we're about to join your server, you're the only person that can join your server this way, but it's a good way to test, and if this server isn't meant to be public, it is just for like testing plugins. This is perfect. So let's go ahead and click multiplayer, and then click direct connection. We then want to go ahead and in this IP address box here, type in local host exactly like that. Then click join server. You should then be able to join right on into your Minecraft server, right like so. As you can see on the left hand side, server has been joined. If we go ahead and op ourselves by typing op and then our username in the console, boom, you can see that's reflected in game. It's working, right? We now have a paper Minecraft server set up. Now, I do want to mention at this point, your friends can't join your server. And for your friends to be able to join your server, you will need to port forward, which is why in the description down below, we have this link. This is our complete guide on how to port forward for a Minecraft server. It goes over everything. It troubleshoots issues you can have. It covers it all. And it's in the description down below. Specifically, you're going to port forward port 25565 here on both the TCP and UDP protocol. But if that sounded like gibberish, it's all explained in this in-depth guide here, linked in the description. We also have this, which just how to fix a broken Minecraft server. It is an over 20 minute guide of going through all the different issues and things you can have with a Minecraft server and how to fix them. So go through this if you are having issues as well. Nonetheless, that is how you can get a paper server up and running. It's up and running now. And if you want your friends to join, just pour forward and give them your public IP after doing so and they'll be able to join as well. But nevertheless, at this point, you know how to make a paper server, but how do you add plugins to it? Well, you can check out the video on your screen right now on how to add plugins to a Minecraft server. We download some awesome plugins, show you how to find plugins, and then add those plugins to your server and check them out in game. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. I will see you in the next video. Enjoy your paper server and I'm out. Peace.